Hey guys, Death Letter Magic here, back with another overlooked but awesome card, and this is another one that personally I've never seen played and I've never heard of. I suspect some people have heard of it because it's eight dollars. But then again, it was only printed one time as a rare in Visions. So if you ask me, eight bucks is pretty cheap. So while this card is absolutely amazing, it's only really legal in Commander. I mean, obviously also Legacy and Vintage, but that's it. However, I will say, if you've got $8 and you've got a Commander deck of any kind, throw this in it. So I'm, of course, talking about Undiscovered Paradise. Not much to this card, really. Pretty straightforward. Uh, you tap it and add one mana of any color to your mana pool. Then at the beginning of your next untap phase, return Undiscovered Paradise to its owner's hand. So during your next turn, near the start of it, this would go back to your hand, but then you could just replay it and it comes in untapped so you could tap it again. So anytime you use it for mana, it's going back to your hand. That's not the biggest deal in the world. I mean, there are way, way, way better cards than this, like Reflecting Pool. But it's early and it's fast and it's reliable, so... I mean, you might be able to tolerate the whole, yeah, it's going back to my hand every time, and oh no, this turn I top decked a land, and now I can only play one of the two. But on the flip side, oh my gosh, if you are playing a commander deck that uses landfall as the primary mechanic, holy crap. At the end of your turn, your opponent's end step or whatever, you can just arbitrarily tap this for a mana, let it float away, and then, oh, I've got another land drop, look at that. You could get some crazy triggers going with this. And honestly, that's probably my favorite use of this, as opposed to, like, turn one universal any of the five colors of mana. Now, obviously, your opponent can't, like, stop you from playing it. They can't counterspell the playing of a land. They can't even react to land being tapped for mana. But if it is in your hand, even briefly, they could technically make you discard it somehow. But almost every uh, card discard ability... Uh, especially the ones that like let them see your hand first virtually all of those are at sorcery speed so they're impossible to play on your opponent's turn within reason there are a very tiny few exceptions and honestly if you think that's going to be a problem long term just find a way to bring this back out of your graveyard it's not that hard to do and honestly it's the blind discard effects that just say oh discard a card uh the ones that say look at your hand first almost always say non-land permanent so besides landfall, there's one more fun thing that uh, comes to mind. There's a couple mechanics that care if something left the battlefield. And making that happen and qualify for that uh, right at the start of your turn, very, very, very nice. Very convenient. So you can do a lot of fun things with this land. Or you can just throw it in because it fixes your colors. So whatever you do with it, hopefully you have fun. And uh, thankfully the price isn't completely out of control just yet. Hopefully you do see a reprint of it anyway just because it's such a neat card. So thanks for watching and I will see you guys next video.